yeah, that, I think Sunday probably was the best that we played all weekend. Um, we had just a lot of good, good shots. Like I said, um, one or two of the holes that I didn't play, you clutched up, and then vice versa. Uh, our, we talked a lot. We read putts together. We, 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 we. I don't know. We we executed a lot more. No more breaks, really. That uh, threw us off. Yeah. Overall, you know, second doing this, we still come out with some money. Um, yeah, just just a good overall time to Winoa for doing this. And uh, next year, I'm I'm probably going to be a member. So we'll have to figure out what yeah. we do. I think um, having that match against Jim and Ken really helped because we had such a confidence boost just winning all those holes too. That it was like. It wasn't even that we weren't winning them on Saturday. It was just like a back and forth, and we pushed a lot of holes with uh, with Jim and Josh. But having that round yeah, in the morning, it was probably. like, okay, we we proved it then. It was like, we don't need to make these birdies. We just need to make pars. And we really did. Like, yep. pars would have done it. If we parred, even if we parred 18, we still would have won it. Um, and it, that's all we needed mm-hmm. in that championship match to to win that, that consolation that's, bracket. That's- you're uh, you're an excellent partner when it comes to match play because you know you give out. Not that I need them, but you give out those cons. Well, not that I think I need them, but my psyche is like, yeah, there it is. Just a little mi- reminders to, hey, we don't need to attack it here. Yeah, smooth swing here. Hey, we just pretty here, or we just need par here. But you know those times where we can attack it, you're telling you, hey, be aggressive more on the left side. Be more aggressive on that right side with that slope. It's good to have somebody like that, and uh, you know, play to our benefit. Came out on top, boys are. Well, on top for us, but you know, boys are geared up. We're ready for next yeah. year. It'll be time. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad. We're kind of getting to the end of the golf season now. I only have I have one more tournament uh, in two weeks here scheduled, and I don't have any tournaments after that. I don't know. I might try to play in that Frog Hollow, um, the big Invitational that Winoa does there. But other than that, it's just kind of. <laughs> Do you have? To, you have to be a yeah, member for that one. It's a member and it's invite only. Um. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Because I was. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. get into that. Which, there's a couple other like gamble tournaments. My brother Kevin and I might try to get a. Uh, there's a uh, cap and mate tournament. I think that might be at Stone Creek that we might try to do. Um, I got a Texas trip here, and I'm gonna go. Uh, I might shoot down there too. Um, but yeah, you know, just like you said, end of the golf season. We're gonna get some stuff going, some extra content out, and overall, it's been it's been a good ass time. It's been fun, and hopefully. Hopefully the off season's just as much yeah. fun. Yeah, and now the PJ Tour wrapped up. Scheffler closed out the deal there. Um, crazy though, because if he didn't have all those strikes, more or didn't have all those strokes, Morikawa would have had him outright. But I mean, Scotty still got the did job his, done. So did you see his tweet? When <laughs> I he, did. Like, when I mean, Gross, I mean, he played great, but also, I mean it. I don't know. Scotty, Dude, with all those wins, deserved to be up. I don't know about the 10 strokes, but he does certainly deserve to have like something. They got to, I don't know if the way they do it is the right way, but I don't think it's that far off at the same mm-hmm. time because, you know, I almost feel like it should be like however many wins you get, that's how many under par you start or something like that. Because if you do, or if you are a multiple winner, yeah. like you should be down more. But then it's like, what do you do with the major versus the, you know, elevated events and stuff like that. So it it gets so it's tough, but I agree. I mean, the guy won yeah, all year long. Tough. So like, you can't be mad at the same time, you know, the, dude, the closest thing that we've had to Tigers run back from the early two thousands, like nineties, bad in 20 something years. So, yeah. um, pretty impressive. Uh, overall, like, yeah, you know, thanks for listening for the, for the, uh, wrap up here. We're really excited about the next interview we got coming. Um, with our buddy Taylor from Rival, uh, this that's not going to be one that you're going to want to you're going to want to miss. This uh, this is going to be this is like a, a, a product line that you're finding out here firsthand before they blow up. This guy, this is going to be this is going to be huge. yeah. They got the, some really cool products, and there's more to come from there. Um, so that's that's coming next Thursday. Tune in for that, and the Thursday after that, I did a little interview. Um, with a, obviously you guys know by now I work at a recording studio, I do production and stuff. So I had on Anthony Durso who works in TV production. And so we talk golf, but we also talk just more of that, like video audio side of things. And he's obviously very into photography, um, does a lot of the drone shots and, and things like that. So we have a, a cool info. And so we got talking cause we, we did the interview already. Um, of course, another Syracuse tie, he's from Scranton. And so 
his first job ever in Scranton was to come to Syracuse to cover Jerry McNamara when he was like a sophomore junior. He was like, yeah, I've been to the Dome. I, I did interviews and stuff in there. <laughs> I was like, oh, of course you did. <laughs> but it's just wild, these connections. Because Nate from Acorn Hills obviously connected us with Anthony. Anthony's an Acorn Hills guy, you know. But Nate was like, oh, he's in like video production. Like you guys do similar stuff. And it was cool. And I wasn't even thinking like this guy's from Scranton. Like he's going to know Jerry. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was. Jerry McNamara could be in a senator from from Scranton if he wanted. <laughs> but some cool interviews coming up. Amazing. Um, and there'll be more special interviews coming as we, we continue to get through the fall here and get through this off season. Absolutely. As always, thank you guys for listening. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe on all platforms, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.